In today's video, I will be going over the 5 best new police games on Roblox in 2024. And starting off, we got a game called Ensford British Columbia. Now, this like a lot of roleplay games I've seen pop out recently. It's a Canadian roleplay game. But I've noticed that they take RP very seriously. The sessions, from what I can tell, are extremely realistic. The map is good. All the different models in the game, vehicles, etc. look amazing. There also seems to be quite a large community a lot of people are actually you know enjoying this game and this certainly looks like a game that's worth mentioning in today's video because it has everything you would want especially when doing police rp great looking police cars nice radio system professional law enforcement officers you know there's so much profession in this and it also looks extremely beautiful this is one of those games that's worth checking out and as one of the best so-called rp communities out there and let's not forget that it's actively getting updated by the day so there's always something new when playing the game. I honestly prefer games like this because these are really just beautiful in every way and people actually play these games as if they were RP games, which they are. Now there's a lot and a lot of footage and you know pictures of the game that you can check out in their discord server if you aren't completely sure if this game is a good fit for you. But I'm telling you right now, you can have every sort of RP you can imagine and be done in this game and it's also a really fun one. You don't really sit idle doing nothing for four hours no there's actual stuff in here that's happening all the time this is an ssu lock game as most of these other really professional rp games so whenever you try to log on it's gonna say you were kicked server is locked so you have to be engaged in their community you know hop on whenever there's a session going on but it's certainly one of the better games i've seen in a long time so this one highly recommend you better go check it out because it's cool next up we got a game called Paulo Cuido. And this is a fictional game or fictional county based in California. Its intention is to be a fully immersed experience with a high standard of roleplay. And they have implemented advanced mechanics to advance this and have a huge update coming soon, which has a functioning border system. So yes, this is another one of these really cool games and also looks very, very detailed. And not just detailed, but it also seems to have really good graphics, which seems to me to be one of the better graphics on this entire list but this game is uh, very new so there aren't that many features implemented just yet but as i mentioned there will be a huge update soon rolling out so it's the perfect time to join up their discord server just like every other game here will be linked in the description but i think this game really takes the lead in realism and looks for this video because graphically it looks amazing and the details on this map are incredible now i can't say for sure if the game has been bought or not because you know a lot of times people buy maps and a lot of times people like complaining about when people buy maps but if you go and buy a map why would i complain as long as you make the game fun and playable i don't care if you bought the map or not either way paulo cuido looks really cool and this is a game that you must go check out next up we got a game that's not set in the us or canada we actually go to europe and this time dublin yeah this is an irish game called dublin metropolitan region RP. So let me give you some facts about the game. This is a game set in the beautiful country of Ireland. The town is a fictional town called Irish Town. A lot of town there. The game offers many different jobs, such as National Police Service, a Dublin Fire Brigade, National Ambulance Service, and civilian jobs. The game used cell for radio comms and Sonoran Cat for RP. The game has multiple different civilian vehicles you could see in Ireland, also police cars which are unique to the US and most other countries. The game has good roleplay and good friendly support staff when going through this game you will also see plenty of realism plenty of interesting vehicles a lot of amazing els and good rp i noticed that there is a lot of rp happening in the game because of all their server pictures and their discord server and it looks like they have actually spent quite some time developing the game to make it as perfect as possible looking at all these different police vehicles helicopters and all this sort of stuff it really tells me that they they know what they're doing this is a good development team and a really good community as well but it is a little inactive and that's why i'm mentioning the game and also of course so you can find good games like this hidden in the depths of roblox development but before we continue with the video keep in mind that most of these games were actually found in my discord server with people opening tickets and sharing their games so if you have an upcoming game or something then make sure to open a ticket in my discord server link it here and i will eventually probably check it out if it's good enough i just had to get that out of my way 
Next up, we got a fully functional Lawrence County. Yes, this game has been under development for over a year now, or two years actually, and now it's been released. Now, this is a huge game, which you will notice when loading in. You can see all the assets down here, but that's because this game has been focused a lot on realism, like actual realism. Now, this game might look fantastic, which it also could be, but there is an issue with the game, and that issue is actually quite big, and that's the clunkiness. Yes, you heard that right. Most of the stuff in-game has been made by the owner himself, and keep in mind, he has been pretty much the sole developer for the past two years, and his biggest focus has been on building the game itself and adding the vehicles, which can be a little bit hardcore when you're doing it all alone, and not with a huge budget. So as much as I can agree that the game looks amazing, it does not function just as amazing. And that's me being completely honest with, you know, the, the owner of the game, Ucha. In fact, I was explicitly told not to make a video just yet on the game because it's so early in its alpha stage. But I need to give this game a little bit of recognition now that it's actually out so that somebody might actually contribute to the game and help Ucha out. Because I know this game has so much potential of being a fantastic game, but I don't feel like Ucha can do it all by himself. Now, sure, there are a few developers, but if you want to contribute to his game, then make sure you go and give him something to do so with. I don't care if it's giving him some money or if it's, you know, applying to work for him free as a developer, but this is a game which has so much potential and has a lot of features we haven't seen in any other game before. That is definitely something that I would love to see blow up in the future. But still, mind you not, it's in this alpha stage, meaning everything is pretty new, you could say. Either way, join up their Discord server. The last game I have on today's list is a game called Ralbury Alberta. Yup, another Canadian-based game set in the province of a town in Alberta, Canada. This game offers strict role-playing, and the guy actually mentioned in this ticket he made that he was inspired to make the game because of a video I made, which I'm really happy to hear. But this, unlike all these other games, is pretty much brand new. The game is playable, but it does not have a big community at all. It does not have the best map, not a million different features, but you can still play it and have some fun. This game has a lot of focus on police, because that's what a lot of roleplay games have, and it looks like the game actually does have a few cool features implemented already. But once again, I see so much potential in this game, and hopefully with the attention they get now, they will be able to speedrun their development a little bit to try and make this one of the better games on the platform. That's totally possible, you say. But once again, very small development team, very small community, and very small budget. So you should join up their Discord server, give them some suggestions, you know, tell them what they could improve on, help them out, you know, a little bit. That's something that I always make sure to say, because game development should be fun and not just hateful. People shouldn't just be on you, you know, every day saying how bad your game is. Help them out, give them ideas, and actually provide them with good feedback. Important that I mention that. Either way, thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you found a new game in this video that you will actually end up playing and enjoy. But yeah, have a great rest of your day, y'all. Bye.